All right, so me and Terry are headed down to Honolulu. We're going to look at a property. What's the address on the property? Right here. Right here. Uh, it's a foreclosure sale. 94249. 94249. And let me tell you a little bit about it. Tell us the size of it. How big is it? It's 823 square feet. 823 square feet. Now in Hawaii, that's a pretty big size two bedroom condo. I mean, um, actually in the room, they actually, we went there, we, we did a walkthrough. And uh, in the walkthrough, they actually had already added an extra room or bedroom off of the, I guess it was like the, not even the lanai, was it really? It was just a kitchen or dining room or something. They turned it into a bedroom. So it really has been made a three bedroom, but not legally. We'll tear that out. And um, it's a two bedroom, one bath. Two bedroom, one bath. Built in 1964. Now that's, Waipahu's kind of a poor, um, um, lower priced uh, condos. But right now they're selling really good. This one, uh, Terry comped out at about 180,000 without it being fixed up and 200 and 225 with it fixed up. And uh, maybe more than that, depending on how well we do it or what we do. So we're going down to the auction, see what we can do and what we can find and if we can get it to work out for us. Um, I know our team doesn't do a lot of auctions, um, but we're ha it's getting harder and harder right now to find deals. And so we're gonna have to be more aggressive to invest the money that we have uh, sitting. And I sent out an email yesterday. I need, uh, for this deal, I'll probably need about 160, maybe thousand, 150,000. And I had uh, 1.4 million in 20 minutes. So we've got a lot of investors that are wanting to be aggressive and we're gonna have to do that. So we're gonna go down and see if we can buy it today, see if we can make it work. Honestly, for us, if we all work, we get it done, and we walked away with $10,000 profit, it'd be um, great for us. But because we pay an investor, we need to make about fourteen dollars to $15,000 um, to make it work out number-wise. To do that, we need to buy it under $120,000. So when I go to an auction, I don't bring any more money than I'm willing to bid. And after looking at everything this morning, the HOAs and the possibility of the second, the problems, um, we're looking probably more at like a hundred thousand. Um, so that'd be an offer. The opening bid should be about sixty four thousand somewhere around there what the bank is owed right now. And uh, by the way, HOA fees are another thing that's really important. They don't fall off. So uh, you have to pay them off at least like six months uh, by law here in the state of Hawaii. All right, we're on our way down. We'll uh, get you when we get to the sale. Okay, so we're at the courthouse. I just want to show you before everybody gets here kind of what it looks like. I'm going to spin around here. Um, it's just a big open entry space. Now you can see different people sitting all the way across. The reason that is, is that there will be multiple sales going on at one time. We're just looking for one sale with one, one address. But um, at noon, uh, the most I've ever seen is about 25 different sales. Uh, and that was back in 2004 or three, somewhere around there. And then, um, of course, everything hit. Now they have a lot of sales too, but not near as many as they did two years ago, a year ago. There was gobs of them, but we were buying houses uh, directly from the banks. So we didn't have to go to the sales. This is uh, a little bit different, but it's just very laid back. You're going to see that it's very uh, quiet. They just kind of talk. Hey, this is a number. This is what it is. It kind of goes through. So um, I think that'll be... Be what it is. All right, so you just kind of give you a quick overview and then we'll come back and show you the actual um, sale. I have my friend Rickson with me today. Say hey, Rickson. Hey. Rickson's just learning and doing everything, and him and his wife are friends with me and my wife, and uh, so he's just learning and wanting to get in to see the real estate side and learn what we do and be a part of it. So I'm excited for him. It's kind of fun when people want to learn real estate, but it's really fun when they're your friends and they want to learn real estate because you can hang out and talk about it. Now you can see there's multiple sales. There's one down there all the way down. There's two right here. There's one over by this post over there that no one's even showed up for yet. So we'll have to see how it goes and see what happens from there.
and I'm an open bidding, and I have a bid from the uh, plaintiff Bank of Hawaii in the amount of seventy-seven thousand four hundred and five dollars. Do I have any other bids? I have one bid for seventy-eight thousand dollars. that's fair that they should be able to start it show them after the guys already started the bidding but it's like what happened we were here and signed up so now all of a sudden you're going to start showing them Well, we buy them from the bank. Yeah, we buy mostly from the bank. Yeah, we buy very few foreclosures. I used to buy a lot of foreclosures, and then through the years, it just got such a hassle and so many things involved in you know. Right. I mean, I think there's still people living in this unit. Yeah, she's you know? there. She's, uh, you know, you saw the condition of the place. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so depressing. I don't know about it. Something. Something. But you know, now we've got to work on getting her out of the next step is just you know, she, she she just might go once she, yeah. you know once I tell her after the confirmation hearing okay because I've been telling her all along but you got to go you know eventually she, you're gonna have to go and she was waiting up until the last minute thinking that uh, something like a miracle some a miracle <laughs> might happen but you know the last time I talked to her I said look this is Bank of Hawaii it's not a mainland bank, right? And they're they'll move on this thing. Yeah, you know, the mainland banks, if they buy it, they fall asleep. Well, hopefully, they get her out of there. You know. Well, it's I mean now it's not the bank. I know. That's me. Yeah, <laughs> Go around and you get in there. 
can get it. Dude. Okay, so we're leaving the auction, and uh, we were the winning uh, bidders. We bid ninety-one thousand, and uh, we had to go and open escrow at Old Republic Title, and then now we wait for what's called a confirmation hearing from the courts, and they say uh, yes, everything goes through, and then you get confirmed. Um, just really depends on if somebody comes in. They actually can bid at the confirmation hearing, so we have to go to it uh, if we want to keep the place. And uh, everything gets wiped out, taken off, except for the HOAs. Uh, you got to pay the HOA fees. That's pretty much uh, where we're at. And um, then there's somebody in the place, so they've got to be moved out. And uh, the, the commissioner will try to do that, but he doesn't always have to do that. It's now our responsibility as it's our place. But he'll write them all the letters saying, it's sold, you're out, you shouldn't be there, blah, blah, blah. Good from there. So that's it. It was a successful day at the auction, and we'll see how it turns out uh, in the long run, about 30, 45 days from now. Hey, babe, it looks like we uh, won the bid. We're at $91,000. Um, went ahead and went to escrow and opened escrow on the uh, place. So it's kind of exciting. I hope it, uh, yeah, it'll be really good. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can uh, uh, get this place, turn it over and get it quick. So I'm going to need you to look at what you want to do in the kitchen and what you want to do in the bathroom. Get this thing set up. Let's try to get it done together. All right. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. I love you. All right. Bye.